Okay. Let's go start, okay? Let's go do an intro to warm it up. Love to make tartine. It's a quick, easy thing to do and it's good. Today we are going to make a simple tartine, but make it daring. Daring Cajun pieces, a lot, a lot of flavor, it's a lot of spice. You feel like you travel in New Orleans. But today we are going to make honey butter. We're going to have a triple cheese brie. We need some bread, honey, tomato, garlic, olive oil, basil, ancho chili powder, bee pollen, and butter to be French. So tartine is very easy to do. It's all about ingredients. First, we slice our country bread. Perfect. Mm, smells so good. Voilà, so the thickness I would say is one inch. Okay, and we're going to soak the bread with olive oil. So we want to put a lot of olive oil. We want the, the bread to be greasy. A little bit more here. Voilà. I love to do compound butter. So what we need, we put a little bit of butter. Make sure your butter is room time, so it's easy to mix. Okay, voilà. We we'll put a little bit of salt. We we'll put a little bit of honey. So the honey is going to be so good with the daring. It's going to be sweet, spicy. I'm so excited about this recipe. You can be very creative with the tartine. You can put the garnish, the protein. I mean, the tartine, it's a meal. We're going to put a little bit of bee pollen, okay? And we're going to put ancho chili pepper to make a little bit spicy. Voilà, so we mix the honey very well, like that. So see the color, it becomes a little bit more yellow now. The honey butter with the toast is just so good. So good, so good. Don't be afraid to test your food. We'll put a little bit more spice. Voila. Okay, so we we'll take some tomato. So look at this beautiful tomato. Wow. Smell good. So what I recommend when you slice the tomato, always use a bread knife. Bread knife is more easy to cut the skin. Wow. But it's summer in the plate. All right, a slice of tomato. Make sure the same thickness. Mmm. So good. Slice some piece of cheese. Today we're going to use a triple cream brie. I love cheese. I mean, cheese is something like, people always ask me, if you die, what's the last thing you want to eat? A good plate of cheese. In France, with my grandma, she had butter with the cheese. Insane grandma. Bon, our bread to one side. We have our cheese, garlic glove, salt, pepper, and of course, the star of the dish, the daring plant-based chicken. Voila, we're good to go outside. I'm excited about this dish. Okay, now we are in my outdoor kitchen. So first, we're going to put the bread on the griddle. I love when the bread is a little bit charred. It really gives a lot of flavor. Make sure to control your heat. We're going to give a nice coloration to the bread. A little bit more. We move the bread, so that make sure it don't burn. Okay, I really want a great texture to the bread, more crunchy. So I know I take a lot of time to cook my bread, but it's a very important piece in the dish. We will want the bread to be crispy and very juicy. Bon voilà, we're good guys. We take a little bit of garlic clove, cut it, and we'll just rub my bread with the garlic. Oh, smell that! I love the smell of the garlic with the bread and olive oil. I wish you can smell that. We'll put it here on the paper tower for later. Now it's time to cook the daring, guys. We have our Cajun pieces here. And we'll open the bag. You open the bag and you smell already the flavor of these Cajun pieces. It's just wow. I wish you can smile, guys. So we're gonna put a little bit of uh, olive oil. We're gonna go on medium heat, not too aggressive. And we're gonna put our pieces on the grill to get a nice coloration. Daring is like chicken, but made from plant. If you can cook chicken, you can cook daring. It's more easy. Look at this beautiful color with all the spice. This starting to be a killer. You know it's cooked when you have a beautiful coloration, both sides. Wow, that's so good. I'm in love with this plant-based chicken. Daring do everything for you. The seasoning is ready to cook. I love it. C'est magnifique, c'est magnifique. If you don't like that, something is wrong with you. First step, I'm going to take the bread and put a little bit of the honey butter. Massage the bread, smash the bee pollen like that. It's so good. So the tartine, we're going to put a piece of a brie and put back here to melt the cheese a little bit. I'm going to melt the cheese very well. Come a little bit, a good flavor. Voila, we're good. We'll take our bread now. So you see the cheese is melting now, that's what we want. We'll put a slice of the tomato here. We'll put a little bit of olive oil, make shiny. Salt. White pepper. And now it's time to put our daring on the top of the tartine. So we're going to take some beautiful pieces. It's a nice coloration, look at this. Voila. We'll 
put a little bit of basil leaf. Good. We'll put a little bit of olive oil. That it's a beautiful tartine. I'll try the bread first. What the f That's good. Wow. The perfect bite. Tomatoes, the bread, the chicken, everything together in one bite. So many different levels of flavor. From the plant-based chicken, with the tomato, with the brie, with the crispy bread, there's so many textures also in the mouth. Wow, you taste the cheese, you taste the honey butter, you taste the spice, the sweet. So many different levels of texture and flavor. So voila, this is my daring plant-based chicken tartine. It's a perfect dish for the summer. Definitely try it. Bon appétit.